I receive a text message from our officiant telling me how sorry he was that the wedding was called off. Imagine finding out that your own wedding is being cancelled by text message from your bishop. I'm not gonna victim blame here, but Liz, you're marrying small Ed. The man's a f***ing idiot. This is exactly what everyone thought was gonna happen. Count yourself lucky, girl. Run. Ed cancelled our wedding without even telling me. What a coward. A weakling. Yeah, Liz, channel that rage and get yourself and your daughter out of there as quickly as you can. Now, I rarely cover Pred because I don't like the guy. But the last time he was on our screens, he and Liz were painting the picture-perfect family, having a barbecue and preparing for their upcoming nuptials. But when we join them in this episode, immediately it's clear that everything's changed. It's all very dramatic. Liz is sniffling and crying as the producers set up for their shots. Clearly something horrible has just happened. What happened? Uh, Ed cancelled the wedding. Oh damn, <laughs> yeah, that is dramatic. But is it surprising? Like, we all know that Ed's a narcissist. We all know that he has to be first or he'll have a meltdown. She's living with a big kid. Only this kid is nearly twice her age. Everyone knew that something had to give with these two. But what's happened this time? Well, Liz explains that a few nights ago, she and Ed got into an explosive fight in front of his family. Ed made dinner, taco pasta, but then Riley's dish was just way too spicy for her. And Ed pretty much just told her, stop being a baby. Liz explains that she didn't appreciate Ed's attitude towards her daughter. And as a result, she called him out on it. That, apparently, is when Ed began arguing back. Now, the cameras weren't there for the fight, so we don't exactly know where the truth lies, whether Liz overreacted or Ed was indeed as callous as she's making him out to be. But one thing is for sure, is a bowl of taco pasta. Why? Really gonna be the end for these two. Like, isn't that the perfect metaphor for the sh show the tragedy of their relationship. The reality is, we all know this isn't really about taco pasta, is it? It's just, Ed doesn't like being pulled into a corner or liking to listen to like how he messes up. Right, sorry, how old is this man baby again? 58? And he still hasn't learnt to take any accountability for his actions. 58, and he still doesn't like listening to how he messes up. <laughs> well, Liz reveals that after the fight, she went to bed. And when she woke up, Ed had gone. No note, no message, no phone call, nothing. Remember, this is a few days out from their wedding. And the first she heard of him again was when she received a text message from the bishop who was set to wed them. I received a text message from our bishop telling me how sorry he was that the wedding was called off. Oh my gosh, Ed is such an utter <laughs> This is a horrible thing to do to anyone, let alone someone who's apparently the love of your life. This is a single mum who still chose to relocate states for you. Why is Ed incapable of sitting down and having an adult conversation with Liz? Why the hell has he done this behind her back? Like, is he not man enough to have a difficult conversation? Ed cancelled our wedding without even telling me. What a coward. A weakling. This surely must be the final straw for Liz. Surely this time Ed's pushed her too far. Surely she won't go running back to him after this. 
I really hope that this is a hallelujah moment for Liz. I hope that she grows a backbone. I hope she realises this is no life for her or her daughter. But for right now, this is painful for Liz. She's crying about how she doesn't understand why Ed's done this. And to be fair to her, she has had no closure. She deserves closure. And I don't understand how he can just cancel the wedding over stupid taco pasta. The only thing I can think of is Ed is getting cold feet and he never actually really wanted to get married. After all of this time together, Liz knows Ed. She has to know that this little man has a huge personality disorder of some kind. She must know that he's never going to be the man that she wants him to be. Because the truth is, Ed never really wanted to get married. Ed's the kind of insecure man that likes to have power and control over his partner. He's the kind of guy that thinks it's absolutely okay to treat someone you supposedly love like garbage. We've seen him do it to his mum, his best friend, his daughter, Rose, and now Liz all over again. He's a toxic human being. I don't know of anyone else who would fight for him the way that I fought. And I think that's a special kind of love. And to not even have a conversation with me. With the wedding imminent, Ed has had cold feet. This isn't about a pasta argument. This is Ed realising how much work he'll have to do as a husband and a stepfather. And he's out. It's too much for him. Narcissists don't like being told when they've done something wrong. They see the world in black and white. So in his mind, it's clear cut. It's not his fault. No, no, no. It's the taco pasta incident. That's what apparently proved that Liz was against him. So he's just cancelled the wedding without telling her. He's ignored all of her calls, doesn't have the decency to get in touch with her, and he's hiding, cowering away at his sister's house. Liz blew up at me in front of you, and then it just snowballed. I was just looking at you going, I wanted to tell you this is how she is. Look, this is prime Ed. This is what really gets to me about this guy. Here he is at his sister's house, painting himself out to be the victim. Poor me, he says. Poor me. Liz shouts at me all the time. Liz escalates arguments. Liz does this. Liz does that. But where's your accountability, Ed? It's just sad that his family, his sister in this case, seems to be enabling him. She agrees with him. She says that Liz fueled this argument. She apparently wouldn't let it go, even though I think it's important to remind you Liz's supposed crime is just being a mother who's defending her child. She doesn't respect me. She has to respect you. If that's missing, that's, that's a crucial piece. Yeah. Respect you? Ed, are you serious? Mate, you need to do something that deserves respect before you get given respect. Tell me which part of cancelling your wedding in secret without telling your bride-to-be, supposedly over an argument about a bowl of pasta, deserves respect. Sorry, you're not gonna get any from me. And to make matters worse, Ed keeps bringing up how Liz has apparently embarrassed him in front of his family. This is a person that, that I'm, I should be able to turn to for love and support and to protect me when I make, make a mistake. Instead, she embarrassed me in front of my whole family. This is now the second or third time that Ed has specifically mentioned that the argument happened in front of his family. That's his issue. That's what he has a problem with. It's not the argument itself. It's that he was apparently made to look bad in front of others. But the irony here, what he seems totally incapable of seeing, is that his behaviour has embarrassed Liz for years now in front of a worldwide audience. Have you called the wedding thingy to call it off? So I talked to the owner, Greg, and he's being so nice. He's like, he absolutely, is? yeah. So I got my deposit so back. Glad. I just began calling my friends. Oh, great, great. Good stuff, Ed. You've secured your deposit back and you've begun calling your friends to let them know that the wedding's off before you've even let Liz know. And you're the one talking about respect. 
correct. Now, keep in mind that Liz found out from a text message from her bishop, but as far as Ed's concerned, Liz doesn't know that the wedding's off yet. He thinks she's still in the dark. Like, doesn't that tell us everything we need to know about this guy? He's there boasting about how he's got his deposit back. Well, meanwhile, Liz is crying and confused about what the hell she's done that warrants this kind of behavior. I know if I continue down this path and marry her Liz, I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life. And I don't want to be divorced. It wouldn't be a good thing for her or for me, especially for me. Especially for me. What does he mean by that? He really is a repulsive man, isn't he? Now, Ed goes on to say that this isn't personal. He's not angry with Liz. He's just come to the realisation that they're not meant to be together. They'll both be happier separated, he says. And I actually think this is the one and only time that I agree with Ed. He's a very difficult man to agree with. And even his sister points out, Um, Ed, I think you should let Liz know that her wedding's off. The sooner you have that conversation with her, just one-on-one, -on -one, it's better for Neat. both of you. I'm going to see if she'll meet at just kind of a neutral place. Now, Ed claims that he knows, apparently, that Liz is just waiting for him to apologise. He says that that's the pattern that they've formed. They fight, he apologises, and then they move on. But yet again, he's painting himself out to be the victim. Poor me, I'm always the one that has to apologise. Yeah, forget rose-coloured lenses. He's viewing this through narcissist-coloured lenses. Poor me, look what I've had to endure. She's been doing this to me for so long, he tries to convince us. I know it's not good on my part, but it's not going to be like the last 13 times. This is really going to be the... The final, you know. F***ing hell. They've split up 13 times before. <laughs> wow. Jeez. I mean, it's no wonder that the number keeps bouncing around. One time he says it's 13. Another time he says they've split up 15 times. It's clear that even he's lost count. When the number's that high, <laughs> it must be hard to keep track. Surely that number in and of itself is enough of a reason to be like, yeah, this relationship probably isn't going to work. And without spoiling anything, without ruining the rest of this season's storyline for you, I'm just glad Liz has now figured it out.